guys we are gonna do a review on some fried chicken I've got the some chicken thighs with skins and bones we're gonna review this lefty's spice LLC fish and chicken mix oven pan or deep fry when are y'all gonna put air fryer on your packages right air fry instructions okay so anyways I got this at Walmart I think it was I want to say like three bucks pretty sure if it's not Walmart it's Winn-Dixie but it's somewhere so it says to uh, mix a quarter cup of this stuff let me smell it first let's look at it let's look at it all right oh, smells really beautiful I guess I I could see this really good on fish as well so a quarter cup of that stuff and I'm using the flat pan today from DeLonghi. Oh, look how red it is. That is nice. Let's see what's in there. Glasses. Uh, wheat flour, corn flour, salt, dehydrated garlic, and onion spices. Uh, paprika, lemon juice powder. Oh, wow. Okay. That's probably what I smell. A little bit of lemon in there. Okay. So let's give it a shot, eh? So it says to mix that with a cup of water. Okay, let me do this, change the angles, we'll do something else, we'll be back. Okay, reading further instructions, it says for a thicker batter, use a half a cup of that stuff. So I'm gonna put another quarter cup in there, right? Because we want some thick batter. All right, so I've got my batter pro here. There's a link in the description if you're interested in that. It's awesome, it's three pieces. It's the best thing in the world. So I've had it soaking in there for about five minutes. And uh, these are big thighs. So in the air fryer, you could fit four pretty good big size thighs. 10 inches, 10 inches around the pan, so. All right, put that aside. You can put your strainer part on top of there. And just judging by the pieces of chicken, I'm probably gonna put, I don't know, let's say a good cup. And check, check it over. See if I need more. Let me put this, oh, it smells really good. And forth. And I think I'm gonna need some more batter. I can see some floating around, but not much. Where are you at? Oh, there they are. Let's check it out. Oh. Oh. Ah. Hang on. <laughs> it's a guessing game. <laughs> Should have guessed bright because it's wet right there oh that's beautiful okay let me sneeze let me change the angles we'll be right back so i'm gonna put one of these liners in there just for easy cleanup which is easy to clean anyways but you know whatever i have a bunch of those i got them on amazon i can't remember how much but let's put the chicken in there It smells delicious. Just from the looks of it, I'm kind of happy with it. But we'll see. See that? Four good thighs. Fits really perfect. Okay. My rule of thumb when I'm frying chicken with skin, with batter, well, with batter, I'm going to fry it for five minutes and then I'm going to spray the tops with uh, the can uh, olive oil. Okay? Because it's just, if you spray right now, it's just going to flake off all that beautiful batter. So, plug, plug it in. Always forget that part. Bottom and top on, full blast. We are frying number four, okay? So, after five minutes, I'm going to spray it. And then I'll cook it for another 25 minutes or so. A pretty big piece of chicken. It usually takes about 28, 30 minutes or so. So, I'll see you in 30. Back in 30 minutes, I check the temperature. And it's past 165, so we're good. Listen to that frying. So, I'm gonna let it cool and taste it. it. Smells delicious. Okay, the best part is 
tasting time. Now I'm going to eat that like proper fried chicken should be eaten after I take I cut into it. I just want to show you guys. Also, let me show you the bottom. How crispy that is, huh? That's the DeLonghi for you. Got that bottom burner. Got juice, juices hanging off of there. I don't have the best knife in the world right now. But look at that. Look at that. You see the steam coming off of there? Take one for the team though. Oh, it's so juicy. Look. Mmm. Boy, that's good. Mmm. Taste that seasoning on there. I like it. Mm-hmm. It's it's not salty. It's really mild not spicy it's very flavorful but i mean you could judge it up with a little cayenne or something like that it will slap your mama because it's a little salty but for a fried chicken batter this would be good on fish as well i could see this on shrimp or you know a piece of fish It'd be good for fish tacos or whatever it's actually a nice batter so, on a scale of one to five, I'm gonna say probably a, hmm, let's say 4.5. Okay, I like my batters a little spicier, a little, a little more kick to it, but for, for something really regular, this is actually pretty good. So, 4.5 is my vote. So, thanks for shopping. Bye bye.